What you doing, Scott? So, uh, that's... Uh, that's done. Uh, done. Basically, we're just going to bolt that on there, and we got steerable and suspension for the nose wheel. Now, you're laughing, and it is somewhat a joke, but not really. We're entertaining the idea, so we'll see where we go with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you do what you got to do, right? Those shocks work. So we would have suspension, and there's the new front wheel, which actually fits in there. Yeah. Decently. This may or may not work. That's a we're gonna see. Anyway, we're gonna go up to the other shop and do uh, work and stuff. Well, Scott's gonna, I'm gonna film. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yep. And told us, like you're happy where the pot is? You're gonna, if you need to grind, you're gonna grind? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so you hold that up the highest you dare. Well, it's basically the bottom of that race, the bottom of that bearing. Right there. Yeah, that's okay. basically where I want it. So if I come in here and look, if my plate was right to the bottom look of that, that race. Look at that, that fits like it was meant to fit. Can I get under there and see? Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna to have to figure out how to do steering on top though. Or I drill two small holes. So I don't want that big hole anymore. That big hole's gotta go. So this new tire that we got is too big, unfortunately. Sorry, Emmett. Um, I'll probably just keep it though, cause you do a lot for me. Uh, and so we're gonna go back to the original. It's a little bit smaller, but it does the height thing. Cause right now we are in flying attitude. And if we put the bigger tire on, we're in nose high attitude, which on skis is what I want. I want nose high on skis, but on wheels, I want slightly like perfectly level or a little bit nose low because that way you can put the plane down in the nose wheel and aerodynamic forces will keep the plane on the ground as opposed to wanting to fly up. If you don't want it to fly up, you can keep the nose down. So that's where we're at. Right, Scott? We. Oui. Frenchman. He's not really French, by the way. He just knows that one word. Right? Oui. Sort of your default, eh, when you have nothing to do? I go to, the, I go to the camera. I was just going to say the genius at work. Oh. This is how the man works. And well, could, well, he does amazing. You're talking about you behind the camera? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> yes, I was. Genius at work. I was actually talking about myself. I wasn't. He just draws up some stuff, and next thing you know, you've got something that works perfectly. He does this all the time. It's amazing. I love it. So, into metal fabbing, I guess, which is not my forte, but it's his, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. This looks real professional. Look at this. This guy's got a... This is just your basic analog kind of eye it, right? We don't need to be too precise. Yes, it's an Etch-a-Sketch. It's an Etch-a-Sketch. Yes, for you kids that don't know what this is, this is an Etch-a-Sketch. We had them when we were kids. You're assuming my age, aren't you? the cheat sheet because if you ask me to subtract two and five fifty fourths from fifty fourths really yeah five fifty fourths <laughs> you can tell I'm good at this <laughs>
So that was just a template apparently. So we're just, uh, we just use this, you know, basic equipment that pretty much everybody should have at home to kind of just make your template. Now we're going to make the actual thing. So this really is a true do it yourself project. I mean, anybody can do this. so part of this you made this if you don't like it if you're ashamed of this we're not putting it on the plane look at that why wouldn't that work so that's on the top obviously that's on the bottom so when we put when we tighten up these bolts these bolts here they'll go together and we're gonna put another bolt through there to prevent this from spreading because there's nothing stopping it from spreading we want to make sure that we have all kinds of strength there and then we'll figure out how to make that steer. We're not 100% sure if it's gonna be on top or on bottom, but then we, oh, that's backwards. It's gonna go this way. And we have the old tire there and we got, here's the thing, that bigger tire fits in there, but then when we compress it, the, the, the compressibility, um, we gotta make sure, so this is, might be the one we go with. It's not the right axle right now, it's the wrong size axle, so. But that's, that's basically what we're looking at, sort of, we think. And that will uh, that'll give the old beaver some steering. I don't hate it, Scott. Hi, thanks. What happens if, uh, if we pick the tail up and see what the angle of the... What does the feel on the top look like on that? Oh, I can't even wait on the forward because it's just sitting there. We can check the compressibility. The compressive, yeah. So that's actually pretty close as long as the pod fits. We're there, really. I don't know, man. I don't know why that wouldn't work. Just got to figure out how to make it steer. And with the tangs on the back like that, that actually gives us a bit of a castering effect, which helps the plane go straight whenever uh, it's on the ground. So we're going to, yeah, you can set it back down now. Yeah. No, we're going to uh, weld this piece into these plates. And then we can attach this now with the pod off and then we can slide the wheel out and we can just slide the wheel back in after the pod is on. So uh, it makes getting the pod on and off easy. We are going to take this and uh, do whatever we need to do to paint it, clean it up and paint it so that it's black and matches everything else because it's got to be black. This is where I would cue uh, painted black. You know the song? Now, 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 now. That's the one, right? I see a red Corvette. Yeah, how do we, how do we make that go that way? So when this is down, that's got to be pointed in that direction. So you put a thing out here. A thing. Right? Yeah, a thing. And then there's a rod on here. When you push it, it pushes that one that way. And that would give us... It's how the single-seat Quicksilver steers. You know, 
how that steers, the single seat quick seat silver? Oh, sure, yeah. sure, absolutely. Yeah. Something like that might actually, it, really? I'll send you a picture. All of my viewers know what I'm talking about, don't you? Because you guys all know what a Quicksilver is. Now, just as a segue, check that out. That's Scotty's Beaver coming together. I have all of, uh, all of your bushings and stuff. They're, they're in Canada. They'll be here shortly, probably by the end of the week. So we can start uh, fitting a little bit more securely. That's pretty cool, eh? He just, yeah, just... Copy, paste, really, right? Control C, Control V, all you need. Anyway, I, I think that's it for now because it's time for ground school. Again, it's Saturday again, and uh, we're, we're gonna try to figure out the steering thing, but until then, um, hope you liked. Like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. There's more fun like this coming, and uh, hopefully we're getting closer to flying, and it's killing me inside because it's beautiful outside. I should be flying right now, but I'm not. This is fun too though. Right Scott? Sure. All right. That's it for now. Goodbye.